All right, ERB sports fans, welcome back to another video. We are going to open two more hanger boxes. These, I think, are the last two that I have. I opened five, then I opened two. You guys might have just saw that video yesterday. Now I've got these last two. I don't know. The first five were so good. I have a feeling we used all of our good card karma. But we got two more, and we got a bunch of fat packs left. Let's go ahead and get into this, see what we can find. Hopefully we can get... Something good down the stretch, maybe a rookie parallel. We'll see. The last two parallels I got in the boxes before this were kind of meh. Jock Peterson and Daniel Bard. Color match on Daniel Bard, but nothing crazy. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and see what we can find here. I don't know what I'm going to open after this. I mean, I kind of wasn't planning on buying any update, but. The parallels and and some of the um, guys got the last name Curry. That's funny. Uh, the parallels in the blaster boxes of the Halloween theme look kind of intriguing. Um, print run seems down. People are pulling some good stuff. So I don't know. I I was gonna write that product off because I just didn't like the fact that there really weren't any good rookies in the actual checklist. There was a lot of rookie debuts, and I kind of forgot that those cards do have value because I remember. Last year, I actually pulled a Wander out of 2022 update. Now, when Wander was Wander, uh, before the recent issues that he's had off the field, um, I pulled a vintage stock out of a hanger box. Got it graded. It got a nine. I still sold that for $100. So there is value there when you think about it. So with a lower print run and a lot of rookies from the main class to pick from, it's not impossible that we could pull something good if we open an, enough of it, like a hanger case or something. All right, who do we got here? Cincinnati Reds. Got a backwards card, a gold, Jose Iglesias. Not a rookie, and an Oswaldo Peraza on the 88 throwback. Not gonna get it done. I, You know, the other thing that might be the play now, quality control on this particular product sucked last year. It was so bad. It was Update Chrome. Now, maybe Update Chrome with all those rookie debuts is somewhat worth getting, but it really depends how much they make. And um, yeah, I'm not really sure yet what I'm going to do. I might get some. I don't know. I've been talking to Step in the Box, Brett. We've been chatting back and forth, deciding... What are each of us going to do? Are we going to go after any of it? Are we just going to skip it all together? Are we going to be patient? You know, obviously you can make complete sets. Those have value. You can, you know, go parallel or bust. You get those extra 120 parallels out of a blaster box case. So I don't know. I mean, in the secondary market today, I looked a little bit into what those cards were going for, and it didn't really seem like they had a ton of value so far. It, not many people were buying and gobbling them up. So I don't know. Beauty's in the eye of the beholder. But if nobody really wants those Halloween cards and they seem, you know, seem to have the value that you would have out of like a holiday mega, I don't know. That might keep, that might keep me off that product. And um, like I said, for the right price, I might be a buyer in a hanger box case. But that's about it. I'm not buying any jumbos. I'm not buying any hobby boxes. And I'm probably not buying any blister packs. And the cat has decided to go absolutely berserk on the door. I don't know why cats do this, but sorry about that, guys. I'm not going to get home. All right. We'll go ahead and edit that part of the video out. Cat was going absolutely nuts at the door in the room and scratching and scratching and scratching. And I was like, this is really annoying. Kind of kneading the door. What do we have here? We might have something. Might be... Might be a home run challenge card, which I don't really want to get, given the fact that the season's already over. But, yeah, there's the Curry guy again. Badu, Simeon, Brantley, Carpenter. Kind of looking like we used all of our good bullets early on. Soto, Pinder, Joe Adele, Will Smith again. Melendez, what's he going to do next year? Tovar, we did get a Tovar in the last one. 
Might have skipped over a guy or two. Go back and figure that out. Manassas, Diaz, Flores. Something backwards here. Corbin Carroll would be nice. I don't think it'll happen, though. Ooh, it is out of 299. Kevin Newman. Not going to get it done. <laughs> it is a home run challenge card of Austin Riley. Oh, dang it. All right, we've got a Austin Riley. Luis Castillo following me around everywhere. Rainbow foil. Ooh, we got a Babe Ruth on the this card. That's cool. I like these cards. Someone's got a massive print line across it, but whatever. Cool cards. They're not going to grade well. These cards would be impossible to grade. They do look cool, though. All right, we got four of our stars of the MLB card. We got Manny Machado, Oscar Gonzalez, not a star of the MLB at the present time, Goldschmidt, and Chris Bryant. Uh, and anything else doing here in the second half? I think that there's a Jordan Walker, Spencer Steer again, Logan O'Hoppy, J. Juan Bay. That'll do it. All right, well, this run of... Uh, two was a little better than the last one, but not by much. A couple other parallels here and some base rookie stuff. Nothing too crazy. We got our two numbered cards. In four boxes, we did get four numbered cards. We got a gold Ho Jose Iglesias and a Kevin Newman orange foil out of 299. Not a rookie, but um, nevertheless, pretty pretty sweet. That We got two parallels in this and two parallels in the prior. And then we got a Babe Ruth. Legends of the Game. So that's a cool looking card. So that'll do it. Thanks again for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed those two hanger boxes. I don't know that I'm buying any more of these, but I think my luck ran out. But I wasn't going to let them sit there after I did so well in the first two, uh, or in the first five, I should say, with two really, really good cards. Had to open them up to find out, but probably should have kept them sealed. Thanks again for watching, everybody. Stay tuned for more content. I appreciate it. We are getting closer to 700. If we haven't passed it already, we're going to pass it soon enough. Thanks again, everybody. I'll see you in the next video.